Hey guys, it's Tara with OnLemonLane.com. I wanted to give you a quick product tour of what's included with this digital vision board activity. Um, here we've just got some of the different examples. So here are some of the templates that can be made. Um, remember, when you create a vision board, you're going to be able to pick whether you're making a new wallpaper or screensaver or lock screen for your computer, a tablet, or a smartphone. So there's some of the examples there. Let's go ahead and jump in. Um, I want to make sure that I point out I do include product tours. These are different than this one um, included within it. Um, this is if you were a teacher and you were using this with students. This would be like your vocabulary terms that they can go over. You are welcome to use as little or as much of this segment as you would like. Um, right here we have just a page that takes you through an introduction of what a vision board is. Here we jump into kind of what the point of it is, what studies say, and what you can do to make sure that you are increasing the likelihood of your success while using a vision board. Um, this next part is a balanced life. This jumps into the different um, dimensions uh, or the elements of wellness. So we've got things like physical, emotional, mental, social, spiritual, intellectual, and environmental. You could also add a career to that as well. So I go through each one and we break it down as well as giving you these different bullet points and questions or statements that you can consider to give you a better idea of how you are um, working on or focusing on that element of wellness in your life. So I go through and break it down with each one of those. The next thing that we have here, this is where you'll actually rate and kind of reflect yourself based on your past year as to how you did physically, emotionally, socially, spiritually, intellectually, or in, in, in your environmental um, element of wellness. There's also those statements again, and you're going to give yourself a rating of one through 10 based on those. And by giving yourself that rating, it's going to give you a better idea of what you need to focus on moving forward. And that's what you will use this reflection sheet for. Um, what you can do better moving forward. This is a fun little act sorting activity um, to help you better understand what you can control and what you can't control. Um, it's important to do this because as we move into our goal setting, you want to make sure that you're setting goals that are within your control and not dependent on someone else's. So here's a great video. Um, again, here's kind of your different goals or different types of one. Um, this one is dependent on someone else. Here you can kind of practice creating your own and see how they check off. Here we've got the different smart parts of a goal. This is a suggestion for different things that you can put on your vision board. Here is our color symbolism chart. This is where you can find your one word resolution. You can find it through my list or you can do a fun activity where you find it through the word search. Um, this is where you've got the different questions to consider what's important to you. Uh, brainstorming page. Here's my tech skills page. This is basically kind of a worksheet that will take you through the different skills that you will need in order to be successful when we move into the actual creating portion of the digital vision boards. If you're not sure how to do these, I walk you through each step in the tech skills video tutorial. This is the answer key. That's what that worksheet will look like once you are done with it. Um, this is the page where you decide what type of vision board you'll be creating. Will you be creating a screen for your desktop, for your tablet, or for your smartphone? And based on which one of those you pick, you will click on the link. Um, lastly, there's just a reflection um, sheet that I've included, as well as instructions for how to save. Um, the next video I'm going to go through, I'll walk you through what these templates kind of look like, along with the 150 uh, graphics and tools that I've included to kind of help you create something really unique and beautiful. If you have any questions after watching this video, please leave me a comment on the blog post and I would be happy to get back with you.